Okay, today we are going to focus on fishing a chatterbait or a bladed jig. And um, I want to show you my setup that I am going to be fishing with today. First, let's talk about the business end here. This is a Z Man uh, jackhammer chatterbait, and it's got some white and chartreuse in it with a Yamamoto Zacco trailer. I really love these Zacco trailers. And um, this 3 8 or half ounce size is usually what I'm going to be throwing, especially in a pond. I'm on a pond today. Uh, the water on this pond, here it is, is very clear. It's clear water. And uh, so I want uh, something that looks a little more natural, like forage. So I'm going to be using uh, white, this white and chartreuse first. And then if that doesn't get me many bites, then I'm going to switch over to a bluegill color. As I know that there's a lot of bluegill in this pond that they would be eating. As far as the rod goes, this is a 7 foot 1 inch heavy rod. And I like a medium heavy or a heavy rod when I'm throwing a bladed jig or a chatterbait. Um, this rod is very strong but it's also very forgiving and uh, you want uh, either a moderate action rod or a rod that has a pretty forgiving tip because uh, a lot of times when you set the hook on this uh, fish uh, they're going to be charging the boat uh, and uh, it, it's easy a lot of times you'll hit them right at the boat and it's easy to lose them if you've got a stiff rod or if you've got a rod that's not super forgiving a lot of guys and i have done it myself throw fiberglass rods and i do throw a lot of bladed jigs on fiberglass but today i'm using this uh this valkyrie rod which is a carbon rod so that's the rod as far as the line goes i'm going to use 15 to 20 pound test today i've got 20 pound line on and uh, that's just because I had it pre-rigged as clear as this water is today. I really should downsize a 15 pound test, but since I've already got this set up, I'm going to leave the 20 and see how that does me. And then I've got a Shimano Metanium reel. It's a great reel. I probably have a little too fast a gear, uh, gear ratio on this. It's, this is an 8.5 to 1. That's probably a little fast. Uh, so I'm going to have to force myself to turn this handle slowly and we'll just see if if I can make that work if not then I'm gonna switch it up the great thing about chatterbait fishing is if it's on it's on and it's gonna be really fun today this lake does have a lot of grass in it and chatterbait fishing works great around the grass as well try one more a little shallower there's one that's a good one. Now, isn't that funny? The buzz bait went right over over his head and didn't get him. Dang, he came off, but that that got him. Oh, got one. He was right on that tree limb too. That's you know. That's a perfect example of how you can catch them on wood. You just got to be prepared to lose some. And I, I really thought he uh, he choked that thing. Look how far it is down there. Wow. I really thought he uh, was a tree limb for a minute when I when he hit it. Going along the edge of this timber. See there? That's your problem one of your problems there perfect perfect there we go can i skip it back there No, 
Not bad. That should have got some interest, really. There we go. Right on the outer edge. Of course, they may not be on the outer edge. It might be up here in the middle. Little guy. Right around the brush, but there's some grass around that brush, too. So, not bad. There's one right back there. He hit it, but I didn't get the hook in him. There's one. Shoot. Same deal. Sometimes it's just the angle you're at. How about that two in a row back there? What am, what's the odds of me hitting the third one? Right there. They're right on the other side of that log laying down right there. Oh. <laughs> That's a better fish. That's better than either of the two that came off. And he was hooked. He was hooked on there good. That's a pretty one. That is a pretty bass. We'll pick it up, but there's a log. You can see the, the base of it sticking up there and it runs all the way out into that brush pile. And those three fish were all stacked up on the other side of this log right down in there. All three of them hit me right on the base of that log. And that's why it was a little hard to snag them to get the hook set because my hook was on the opposite side of that log. So for whatever reason, they like that piece of wood right there. There may be more down there, so I'm just gonna throw a couple more along, along the base of this tree. You see. Okay, the skirt on my white chatterbait fell off, fell apart. So I've got a bluegill colored one now. And I've got this uh, Yamamoto um, Zacco, and this is uh, the electric shad color. I think it looks pretty good with a bluegill colored chatterbait. So let's, uh, I'm going to go back around some wood because it seems to me like more fish are on wood. This Valkyrie rod casts a chatterbait flawlessly it's just amazing not only can you cast it accurately <clears throat> you can cast it a mile Chatterbait fish. Good chatterbait fish. Good chatterbait fish. That's a good chatterbait fish, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice, 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 nice. Right on the grass edge. Oh. oh. That's a good one. Oh. Yeah, that is a very good one. That's a good fish right there, boys and girls. For all to see, <clears throat> very nice, very nice. On oh, the chatterbait. <laughs>